Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today, we have one topic, tires. How can I clean, protect, and dress my tires in one easy step? And that is going to be using our brand new product, Klingon Tire Foam. Klingon Tire Foam is an aerosol dressing that can be used on your rubber surfaces, such as your tires. So in this occasion, we're gonna give you guys three different scenarios on how to dress your tires, whether you go off-roading, you have a garage queen, or you just have a daily driver. To start off with, we have this Mercedes Benz inside the shop, and this car hardly gets driven. It's a garage queen. So we're gonna start off with everybody that has something similar. There's the tire still black, they're not as brown. So how do you actually use it? It's fairly simple. It's an aerosol dressing. So all you need to do before using it is just shake up the product. And this is actually a cleaner protectant and it's also going to dress your tires. So now I'll go to the surface and I won't go super tight onto the surface because I do go super tight. I'll just concentrate onto one area. What I like to do personally is I like to be a little bit further away and I like to spritz onto the tire. And as you guys can see, tire foam does an amazing job at one, sticking itself onto the rubber surface. So you guys might ask me, Henry, should I wipe it off? Should I get an applicator? And that is a great question. We want to let it sit for several minutes until it's dry. For a tire that's slightly dirty, that's all you need to do. Spray and walk away. No wiping required. After you come back, if you have a super heavy coat, that's when you get a microfiber towel or an applicator and you wipe it right off. But now there's another question. What happens if I get my tire foam on the wheel? And it's fairly simple. Just get a clean microfiber towel, come to the surface and just wipe it right off. So we'll actually let it sit for five minutes. We'll actually let it dwell on the surface and then we'll come back and buff off the residue if there is any excess residue. And then after that, we'll show you guys the results and we'll be moving on to our next car, which is going to be a daily driven car that gets tons of highway miles, tons of city miles. And of course it goes through wear and tear. Anyways guys, I'll meet you guys in five minutes. All right guys, we gave it five minutes to actually sit on the surface, adhere to the rubber. But now as you guys can see, there is a little bit of residue left behind on the rubber. So here's a quick pro tip for you guys. You could either get a microfiber applicator or a black workhorse towel. In this occasion, I'm gonna go with a black workhorse towel. I'll fold it into like almost looking like a burrito. And then I'll go to the surface and I'll just work in the product back into the rubber. By working the product in, back into the rubber one, I am making sure I'm, I'm getting every single nook and cranny. I don't wanna have a high spot up here and not a high spot down here. I wanna even coverage throughout the whole entire tire. This side looks dry, dull, neglected. Compared to this side, it looks high gloss finish while being dry to a touch. It is not oily, it is not going to splatter onto the car whenever it dries right off. So guys, this is the very first step of this video. This is a garage queen that hardly gets driven. It's always sitting in the garage, and of course these tires are going to be in much better condition. Now I'll go ahead and get my secondary car to show you guys what a daily driven car should have in the procedure when applying our brand new Klingon tire foam. I'll meet you guys with the second car. All right guys, so now we are back with car number two, or if I should say SUV number two. As you guys can see, these tires are brown. These tires have seen better days. A daily driven car, here at Chemicals, we found that it is better to clean your tires beforehand using Nonsense Super Cleaner. Nonsense Super Cleaner is an all-purpose cleaner that one is going to remove road filth, grime, debris, previous dressings away from your tire. I'll get my Nonsense, I'll spray it directly onto my tire. And then after I spray directly onto my tire, I have my nifty brush. I'll spray some onto my nifty brush as well. And now I'll just go to the tire, just to, I could start scrubbing it and I could start removing previous dressing. Cause keep this in mind, this car gets to see the road tons of times. I mean, you guys can look at already at the tires. The tires are wearing down. That is how much this car gets driven. It has actually over 150,000 miles on it. So this car gets driven a lot. So, by doing, this pre, by doing this step beforehand, before applying Klingon tire foam, it's going to allow the dressing to one, bond properly, adhere properly, and last longer. So once you're done with Nonsense Super Cleaner, you get a clean microfiber towel, you'll just buff off the residue. By buffing off the residue, you will ensure you remove all the dirt, grime, debris away from the surface, and you guys can see how much dirt and filth is actually sitting on the tire. So all of this dirt and grime and filth was making the tire look brown. And this is why we always recommend cleaning your tire beforehand, just so you could allow Klingon to actually clean the tire even more, dress it and protect it all in one easy step. So I'm just gonna give it one last pass. I'll put this towel off to the side and you guys can see how much dirt and grime is still coming off onto this towel. This is when I'll get my Klingon. I'll shake it up, put my nonsense off to the side and I'll just lightly 
mist it across the surface. Like this, I allow it to adhere properly on the sidewalls. So just shake up the product, go to the surface, and mist it. Give it one last mist. And now I'll just get a clean microfiber towel, or actually, since I did fold my towel in fours, this towel still has a clean side to it, just so I can buff off the residue away from the face of the wheel. If it does get on your face of the wheel, remember, it cleans right off, just go back over it, buff right off, and this is when we're gonna allow Klingon to actually sit on the surface for up to five minutes. So guys, I'll let this sit right here for five minutes once again, and then I'll show you guys the results after, and then after that, it's time to get car number three, which we have a dirty off-road rig. As you guys can see, the results are slick. It's high gloss, dry to a touch, and the results are amazing using Klingon tire foam. So we actually just got informed that our off-road vehicle is still off-roading. That is how much they love off-roading. So we just got informed that tomorrow is actually going to come inside the detail garage. We'll be back tomorrow morning to finish up the off-road vehicle for you guys. It'll be one second. All right guys, so it's day two on the topic of tires. So now we have this off-road car. As you guys can see, the tires have seen better days. It does have some built up dirt and grime sitting on it. And this tire is actually very filthy. I mean, I don't know where she went, but all this tough grime debris is going to be another example on how should I clean my tires before I actually use Klingon tire foam. To start off with, we have a super muddy tire and the kickdown dirt is going to be a little bit more tougher to remove it. So this is why we're gonna be using our orange to greaser with our big blue stiffy. So first things first, what you want to do is rinse down the tire. By rinsing down a tire, you'll just knock off any loose grime and debris, but there's still dirt and grime sitting on here because if I roll my finger, there's still some coming off. So all you want to do is just get orange to greaser. You'll go to the tire, you'll spray it thoroughly on the tire. I will also spray some onto my big blue stiffy. And since I already have running water, the water that's already on the tire is going to help it foam. So I'll just go to the surface and just start scrubbing it. And what orange the greaser, since it's a citrus based cleaner, is going to help me break down the mud, the dirt, the filth that this tire actually has. So I'll just scrub it back and forth. And then I will rinse it down and I'll check out my results. But since this is an off-road vehicle, I'll just respray it, give it a second pass, just so I could have some peace of mind whenever, whenever I'm using my tire shine. I want it to bond correctly onto the surface and not fill over time. So I'll just spray it onto my brush once again, go back to the tire and just start scrubbing it out just so I can ensure I remove all the tough dirt, grime, and debris away from the surface. So I'll scrub it. Once I'm done, I'll put my brush off to the side, my orange to greaser. All right, so now that we have the tire fully clean and fully degreased, I'll put my wand off to the side, and now I'll just get my workhorse microfiber towel, and I'll just dry out the tire. Just beforehand, like this, I ensure the tire is completely dry, so whenever I spray Klingon onto it, it won't fail, it won't come in contact with water, none of that. So just swipe down the tire, and as you guys can see, the tire does look black, but it still has this faded look to it, and that's what we want to prevent. With Klingon, we want to restore a super high gloss, fast and easy, and I know everybody that has an off-road vehicle, they love to have nubby tires. And over time, having nubby tires, me personally, is it's very hard to get into nooks and crannies. But by using Klingon, since the aerosol dressing is going to be fast and easy, and nonetheless, it's going to get into every single nook and cranny, like that, you have an even spread. So we have a clean tire. I'll remove the cap. Before I remove the cap to shake up the product, now I'll go to the surface of the tire. I'll be a little bit more distant, just so I can have a wider spread. And then I'll start from the top, go around, one, and then I'll go inner, go back around for two. So now that we cleaned the tire, we degreased it, 
Obviously we have an even spread around the whole entire wheel. As you guys can see, this thing is sticking onto the tire. That is because we degreased the tire, removed all the mud, but now we'll just let it sit for five minutes. Within, within those five minutes, I'll just go around, get the rest of these tires, and then after five minutes, I'll come back, buff off the residue with a clean microfiber towel, and I'll show you guys the results. I'll see you guys in five. All right, guys, so it's been five minutes. We allowed Klingon to sit on the surface of this tire. And as you guys know, nubby tires have all these nooks and crannies. I mean, there's gonna be nooks and crannies up here, some on the tire lettering, of course, on the ridges inside. So this is what we always recommend to do, is get a clean microfiber towel, a microfiber applicator, and just finish the job by spreading it out. So I'll close up my towel, just like a burrito, and then I'll go to a, a tire, and I'll just wipe it in linear motions. By wiping it in linear motions, one, I am getting it into all the nooks and crannies, and as you guys can see, it's giving it this very high gloss look to it. So just go over with a towel if you do have residue, especially on nubby tires, I like to apply a little bit much more just because this is an off-road vehicle, and I want to keep the tires protected because this vehicle, I don't know when it's gonna go off-roading once again, but whether, it's, but whether it's in the city, whether it's on the freeway, whether it's on the road, I want the tires to look good, especially because muddy cars, when they're super muddy, they look awesome, but once we wanna clean them, you always want to add some type of shine to your tires like that. You finish the job correctly, and how I like to explain it, Adding tire shine, if you don't add tire shine to your vehicle, that is like throwing off the whole entire detail. You need to add some type of tire shine to your tires so your tires look lustrous, they look clean, crisp, and new. So this is why I would recommend adding some type of tire shine, but you just go over it like that, fast and easy, and that is how simple it is to use our brand new product, Klingon Tire Foam. So guys, there you guys have it. I gave you guys three different scenarios, a garage queen that hardly gets driven, only gets driven on the weekend. That's when you go strictly with just Klingon. To use it directly, spray it onto the tire, let it for five minutes, come back and buff off the residue. The second car was a daily driven car that gets tons of miles. Uh, of course, it goes on the city, it goes on the freeway, and much more. So that's when you want to use an all-purpose clean like nonsense, a nifty brush, remove all the dirt and grime. And if you do have an off-road rig, that's what we recommend degreasing the tire, just so we can make sure we remove all the mud, gunk, grime away from the tire, and that's when you follow up with clean on. Anyways, guys, that is how fast and easy it is to maintain your tires looking brand new, especially if you're short on time. Use our brand new clean on tire foam. And as always, if you guys want to pick up this brand new product today, you can hop onto us right now, camwares.com, or you can stop by our local detail garage. We have over 90 detail garage locations across the globe, including Canada and the UK. As always, I'm Henry, and thank you for sharing your passion for trying with Ken. Bye.